Guys, what's happening? Back again with yet another little unboxing. This time, I'm not 100% how you pronounce this name. I think it's Aodine. If I'm wrong, you can correct us in the comment section. Feel free, because I'm not 100%, but I think it is Aodine. Anyways, what I'm going to do is unbox it, show you around the box, let you know a little bit about it, and then I'm going to do a benchmark and show you it all running. First off, we'll do the unboxing. You can see there's a little mark up here. This isn't anything to do with them who sent us it. It was me. I spilled some water on it and I tried to wipe it and I've ended up rubbing the little top layer of the, the whatever material it is. So that, that wasn't them. This was perfect, the box when it came. As you can see, on this side, it says the name of it. And on the back and both sides, as all boxes are, are blank. On the back here, it doesn't really say anything. Obviously, we've got this for with YouTube, with Facebook, Skype, Netflix, Kodi, Wi-Fi, and USB. It doesn't give you any information on the back here, but luckily, I've got my laptop open, and it says RAM. It's got one gig. It says it's running Kodi 16.1 with Android 5.1. Most of the boxes I have been getting, if you've noticed, are 6.01, I think it is. It's 2 and 5G on Wi-Fi. It says it's a quad core. It doesn't tell us what processor it is. I'm guessing it's an S905. Um, it says it's 4K, 1080p, 720, and all the usual stuff. So I'm going to open the box and see what we've got inside. I'll put more of the link or the the information in the description below. So first off, we'll have a look at the box. It's light up and it's it's all sealed. It's got a nice we'll take this off so we can see it better if I pick at that right, we'll take all this off as you can tell it's brand new we'll go on the front there's nothing on the front and there's nothing on the left hand side but on the right hand side we've got for your SD MMC you've got a USB 1, 2 and 3 oh and you've got another one you've got a USB 4 I'm not focused there I'm going to press the button and focus you've got your SP DIF and you've got your AV, your HDMI, your Ethernet, and your power. And on the back here, it just says it's a 5 volt and it was made in China. So that's the box anyways. That must be their little logo what you get. The box is really light. It's a little bit bigger than the ones I've been getting recently, but it is mega, mega light. We've got a nice little protector. I quite like that because it'll stop the box from shaking about or anything. It's good that. And here, oh, we've got a nice, this is different. Ah, oh, so that's the remote. Ah, it's more like a now, now TV remote. This is better. I like this. All this information. It's it's in a nice glossy user manual rather than a crappy one. Right, it seems we've got a few little boxes in here. I'm not sure what's in what. I'm guessing this one's the remote. So we'll open this one. And it is. And it's sealed in a little packet so I can get this out. And it's pretty much a Now TV box remote. So you've got your power, your mute, your up, down, left and right, your little home button. And you've got that, yeah, it's, it is. It's pretty much a Now TV remote. And these are normally really good little remotes. I quite like them. I've had loads of Now TV boxes and they are the nice little remotes. It is infrared. That's one thing I'm going to mention on all my videos now, if it is infrared. Most of them are. One day, they probably will make a Bluetooth one or... Wireless, see what we see what we get. So we've got a USB or a USB, and we've got our usual HDMI in the bag there. And this time, this is a total change. This is for your AV. This is old school. You've got your yellow for your picture, and your red and white is for your left and right sound. I used to use these years ago on my turntables. So the way you do that is on the back of this box. You see, you've got the little AV one. It's just if you don't have a television that's HDMI, you can use it through the phonos, what these are. And if you do have a connector, you can plug these into a little SCART adapter and then just plug it in the back of your telly for SCART. So that's what was in that little box. And this one, I'm guessing it's my power cord, or power lead, or AC adapter, whatever you wish to call it. And it is. There's my adapter, usual. See on there, and plug in on the back. So that's everything, that's the unboxing done, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the box up, but I'm going to totally wipe it so it's all fresh, and we'll see what it runs like with the benchmark and everything.
there you go we're pretty much all set up now and as you can tell this is 5.1 by looking at the different layout because me other videos have been 6.0 for some reason this is the older version I don't know why and it doesn't really bother us because it works just fine a couple of things that I did change if you go down here to the bottom right hand corner and click on settings and you go to the one that says sound and notifications then if you come to this one that says other sounds and I turned this one off the one that says touch sound because it makes a horrible noise when you're clicking up left down all over and if you come down to this one that says date and time I turned off this one for the automatic time zone and I went down and set it to my own which was London and it's come up British summer time which it is now so I'm getting the right time and the other thing what I did was I clicked on apps and I went down to Cody and I came to this one that says clear data because there's obviously going to be a build on it and I wanted to put my own on another thing what I did do is I installed a benchmark tester but I'm going to show you how to install something else. What you want to do is, you want to put a memory stick in or whatever, memory card. Click on that one, that is Explore. Go left and go to USB or SD card, whichever one you've got in. And then I'll click on that one. And that's what I'm using, my Lexar. If we come down to Android add-ons. And I'm going to quickly install MobDro. Then you just press down and right to install. This should only take maybe 15-20 seconds at the at the very most. So I'll just let this do its little thing. And there we have it all done and dusted. So I click done and then I click back. As you can see I've got a few films on here and I have been trying to play them on other uh, videos when I've been showing you boxes. But for some reason it's coming up with the copyright protection. But I've discovered if I play it through Kodi it seems to work so I'm going to do that way in a minute. But first off on the list is I'm going to go to apps and I'm going to do a benchmark test and see what score we get. So it's just initializing and then I'm going to press the back button because I don't want to update anything. I'll press up and then I'll click on test. And I'm going to stop the video here and start it when it's a little bit further in the percentage because all it's going to do at the moment is just run around this circle a certain percent. I think roughly when it gets to about 70 that's when it shows you the graphics and this that and the other. If I pick this up here, this is where all the fancy trickery and everything works. This is obviously just checking your your resolution, I'm guessing, because it's saying there 720. But on the next stage, it goes through your frame rate and just the general 3D capacity of it, however it runs. So we'll find out that in a second. The bottom left hand corner is where you want to look. And to be honest, we're not really getting very high. We're getting really low at the moment. Six, seven, eight, nine. And that's frames per second. No, it's really not. And it's jittery as well. It doesn't seem to be running very good at all, this. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess about 18, 19,000 overall. I don't know if these benchmarks really make a difference. Um, the, all the boxes that I've tried have had different ones, so I'm not sure. They all seem to perform all right when I'm playing Cody and videos and that, but this is maybe more down to if you want to play games or something on it. It's jumped up a little bit there. It's on 11 frames. 19,702. So I was close. I says about 18, 19,000. We're close at 20,000 there. If we go over to details, this will give you a little bit more in-depth of the other stuff that was going on there. As you can see, your RAM, your 2, and your 3D. So that's that. I've done all that. Which is strange, really, that this is actually a really low score, but the box seems to be running pretty well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Cody. Unfortunately, there isn't a K button on this remote. And another thing that I've noticed... There isn't a button for, so you can turn it into like a mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to video. I'm going to click on file. I'm going to find my memory card, which is a Lexar. And then watch it, we'll play, watch it. We'll play that, we'll play near us. This is the new one. Because I had this on before, so we'll start from the beginning. New experiences, and here I am. And I was like sleeping in a bunk bed. <laughs> Now, is that where you learned it? You were and I don't know if that's got any sound because I've got mine turned off the way I've got it all set up. But you can see there it's running at 1080. 
TTS 5.1. So I'll stop that and I'll just play something else. Uh, what we've got, what we've got. Uh, we'll just play a smaller file. We'll play the Magnificent 7. The reason I've got this is because the new one's out and I've never seen the original. And that was that. So I think that's I think that's covered everything on there. And now all I need to do is just put Cody on. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to the system. And then I want to go to add-ons. Then I want to go to install from a zip file. And then find me Lexar, add-ons, Aries Wizard. Oh, you know what? I don't think the Aries Wizard is working. It was down earlier, so I think it's down again. I tell you what, I'm probably going to start this video again in a little bit. It's nearly half one now. Hopefully, they'll get it back on the server and I'll be able to try it again. Because like I say, it's down. That's Aries all working once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Browse Builds. And I'm going to click the Pulse one. And then when it says Enter the Code, I know what code I've got at the moment. It's 26, 34. And yours will obviously be different when you do it. And then the next process is to come down to Pulse CCM and just install it. And as I say, always, depending on your internet speed, will depend on how long this will take. It's going to download and then it's going to extract, so I'll chop the video here. As you can see, we're at the very end, 99% of the extracting. And that should be done any second, there you go. The next thing what's going to pop up is a little box, and all you're going to do is click No. And then on this screen, what I like to do now is wait a few seconds. So I'm going to wait. And then if I press it, hopefully it'll close Cody. Yeah, it does. But if it doesn't, all you have to do is go down here to Settings. Come to the one that says Apps. Find Cody. Click on Cody. And then just force stop it. And then that will force stop it. And then all you've got to do is open it again. So now I'm going to go over and open Cody for the first time with the new build on. Rather than you guys waiting about, I've done all the updates for everything. So everything's installed. This is everything the way it is. And I'll just go into videos and show you something playing. Um, if I go into movie flicks, because that's a good little one at the moment. I was going to do a video on this, but... Most people are probably using it anyways. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Uh, watch over, click on recently added. Ignore the alpha error in the bottom right hand corner. There's obviously just a, a little problem with that alpha at the moment. I'll tell you what, we'll go on the original turtles. And there you go, that's really, really fast at loading up. I'll press up. There's Michelangelo getting his pizza delivered. That's me just flicking through that. Everything. But this is a really good one if you if you do want something to, uh, to use for films as well as what... Well, there's there's so many things to use anyways. I could be here all day explaining things. But um, I'll leave that as it is anyways. That's just it plain. There's not really much more I can show you inside Cody because you know how it runs anyways. But that's it. Yeah, that's everything.